Okay, so, hi. Today we are going to be doing a lot of exercises. I will show you all of them first, one time through, and then we will run it as a circuit. So, I will tell you in order what weights you need, what things you need, all of that. You don't need a mat, you can have extra weights, and I will be using my wall to stabilize myself on one thing, so a chair or a wall, whatever you need. First exercise, exercise number one will be squats, but we are going to add a leg lift to the side after every squat. That in the circuit we will do 10 times, which ugh, gets exhausting, so be prepared for that one. That is exercise number one. Exercise number two is going to be punches, and you can do this. I want you to remain in kind of a squat position um, knee slightly bent, and I want you to punch side to side. When you punch, you need to engage your abs and your obliques, and you should just right now get into this motion of turning. You should feel them tighten. Um, and I know what a lot of you will say, I don't have abs. You do. <laughs> feel that. Like, really try to engage it, tighten as you turn, and you'll be able to feel it a lot especially tomorrow, you'll be able to feel it. <laughs> for that one, for the punches, I will use my three pound weights just to add some extra weight to it. When I punch, I have my hands here, the weights like this, and then as I punch, I turn it. Just make sure if you are using extra weight that you don't fully straighten your elbow because you don't wanna strain your elbow. So that is number two, exercise number two. Exercise number three is going to be arms out circles, however you wanna do it. If you want your arms like this, if you want your arms like this, however you wanna do it, we will circle and then we will reverse directions, pretty standard. Number four and number five are at diagonals. The first diagonal will be palms up, diagonal out front, and as always, your knees slightly bent and just biceps. So curl it so that you can touch your shoulders and then out straight. You don't wanna dip it too much, just out straight just focusing on the biceps. Then the fifth exercise will be out at a diagonal in the back, and it'll be triceps. So you'll just go like this, boom. You can just lift from here. We'll just pulse it out at a diagonal. It totally changes where in your triceps you are working, so it gets really interesting. After that, we will be using our wall. So after that, you can put the weights down, and we will be holding on to the wall if you need it. If you don't need it, don't hold on to the wall. You'll put your leg in spiral position and you'll do circles. And then as always, we'll reverse the circles. On this exercise, I want your back as flat as possible. You don't need a high leg. I want you to keep your hips as square as possible so you're really engaging your booty. Um, after that, this is a lot of exercises. After that, I want you to kick extend. So you're kind of like a teeter-totter, but instead of keeping the legs straight, I want you to kick in front, lift and back. Kick in front, lift and back. Then the very last to finish it off, instead of circles, back in this position, you'll hold it and then we'll pulse to really, you know, finish it off nice and strong. <laughs> okay, we can do this. <sighs> we'll see how long this circuit takes. I'm going to time it starting at the beginning, so get ready, grab your water, take a break if you need, but try not to, and let's get started right away. I'm gonna grab my weights and use them on my squats as well, just because I would like to torture myself today for whatever reason, and so I'm gonna pick up my weights, ready, and three, two, one, squats are first. So bend, lift up. That's one, gosh. That's two. Try to use just the hip. Keep your back tight. Three. Doesn't need to be super high. Four. Five. Oh boy. Six. I already feel it. Seven. <laughs> Eight, my right hip, man. Nine, 
and 10. One extra squat just because. All right, staying in that stance, arms up to block your face, slight bend in the knees and twist to punch. Four. Eight. 10. That one you can take slow if you really want, kind of out of bounce, or if you know how to box or whatever, go for it. Okay, um, why am I wanting to put these down? I can't put these down. Out, let's go for circles. I'm gonna start forward. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse it. Ten. Out at the diagonal. Touch shoulders. These you can switch off one at a time if you prefer. There's five. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very nice. It helps if you like just keep going. Back at the diagonal, I'm gonna lift mine like this, like pinkies up. I pitch forward a little bit, lift one. Five. Try to relax the shoulders. And 10, good. All right, put these down. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, I'm gonna hold onto my wall. I'm gonna start on my left leg. So my right leg goes back, try to keep the hips square, and then you're gonna circle. Just pick a direction on this one, whatever you wanna start with. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. Oh, this way's harder. Nine and ten. Kick forward, back. Kick, two. Whoa. Three, try to point the toe. Four, five, six. Long legs, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay in this position, hold it. I'm gonna let go of the wall just because I'm gonna try to be brave. And then, whoa. Pulse it for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh my gosh, switch legs. Whew, okay. Circle one direction. Huh. Switch directions. Five. Come up and kick. Stretch. Two. Three. Four, long legs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it there. I'm gonna let go of the wall, maybe on this leg. Breathe and pulse. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and ten. Whew. About five minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll rest for one minute. I don't have water in here, but I do have coffee. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's like 4 p.m. right now. Oh. That's all right. 
All right, this really is full body. Like I feel this everywhere, even though we're not super engaging abs, every exercise uses our abs and our back. So I really do feel it in my core. All right, we're just gonna go for it. We have 15 more seconds to rest. Oh, stretch out what you need to. Okay, we got this, round two. And fight. <laughs> Bend down for that squat. Lift the side. Oh my gosh. I hurt my right hip the other day. And when I say hurt, I didn't really hurt it. I don't know what I did. I just strained it. So it feels a little weird doing this exercise today. I just need to remember to stretch it out after. Six, seven, not done with seven yet. There we go. <laughs> Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Squat down. I'm going to try to keep my arms up this time. <sighs> Five, ten, nice. All right, out to the side. This time I'm gonna do thumbs up. Ha. Five, and ten, reverse it. Sweating. Seven, eight, nine, 10, bend them for a second, shimmy it out. Palms up at the diagonal, touch your shoulders. Focus in on those biceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, I feel like Popeye, eight, nine, and 10, bring them in, shake it out. Back at the diagonal, lift one, two, five, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. All right, set those weights down. Now we go to the wall. Okay. Circle one way. Point the toe, reverse direction. And 10. All right, come up, kick, stretch. Kick, that's two. Halfway there. My knee is popping a little. Eight. And 10. Hold it there. And pulse it for 10. Three, five, falling. Nine and 10. Good, switch sides. All right, find that center and circle. Point the toe. Tight back, reverse the circle. You're really using your butt and your hip. 10, come up, kick and point. Two, three, four, six, nine, last one, and ten. 
pulse it for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Wow, we are on schedule. That was another five minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. Okay. I'm not gonna let myself relax too much. 11, 11, make a wish. Okay. 15 seconds. We can do this. Last one. Whew. Okay. Ready? Last one. Put all of your effort into this one. And squat, lift, squat, lift. It's two, three, four. Taylor's home. Five. Six, seven, almost there, eight, why do I always decide to do this one, nine, and ten, all right, stay down in that squat, tighten those abs, punch, twist into the punch. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, out to the side. I'm gonna do palms down this time. I'm gonna switch it every time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse it. Five, nine, and 10. To the diagonal, touch your shoulders, focus in on those biceps, tighten your abs while you're at it, because why not? There's five, six, seven, eight, I'm sweating, nine, and 10, pitch forward, back diagonal, lift for 10, relax the shoulders, and 10. Good. Set those down. Okay, last one. Hold onto that wall if you need it. Leg back, hips square. I'm gonna try this one without the wall for the last one. Oh Lord. All right, circle one way. Seven, eight, nine, 10, try to stabilize your foot. Mine is shaking all over. Reverse. Whoa. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come up, tighten those abs, kick, extend, kick. This one I need the wall for, unless I go really slow. Six, seven. My leg that I'm standing on burns so much on this one. And 10, power through it. Find your center, point that toe and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh my gosh, okay, switch sides. Don't let yourself relax yet. Square off the hips, point through the toe, and circle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reverse it. Five, 
nine and ten. Come up, kick, back. Tight core, tight back. The light went out right there. <laughs> Five. Breathe. Nine and ten. Hold it there. Find your center and pulse for ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In that last exercise on each foot, I always feel like the sweat is just going to drip down on the floor. <laughs> All right. Good job. If you can get through that, from the moment we started exercising, it was almost 17 minutes straight. So if you want to do another circuit or two, round that out to about 20 to 30 minutes. Wonderful job. Let me know if you do that. Let me know how it goes. You can totally do this for five circuits if you really bear down and push yourself. Some of those exercises though, don't be afraid to do it without weights. Even the bicep ones, just going like this and touching your shoulder, it really does work the bicep muscle. The tricep one without weights, it feels a little silly when you're doing it without weights, at least for me. I feel silly, but I still feel everything engaged. So it's absolutely working the same way you do it with the weights, just obviously without the extra weight. If you're really feeling it and you want to do a lot more weight, hold your skates, hold something heavier. I only have three pound weights because I know myself and I don't need heavier weights. I just need to do more reps, but um, yeah, good job guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you later. I am dripping sweat right now. <laughs>